pH of various solutions using pH paper or universal indicator solution. A. To find the pH of number 1, dilute HCl, number 2, dilute solution of NaOH, number 3, dilute solution of acetic ethanoic acid, number 4, lemon juice, number 5, water, number 6, dilute solution of sodium bicarbonate, by using A, pH paper, B, universal indicator solution. Requirements Test tubes Test tube stand Dropper White lace tile pH paper or universal indicator solution Distilled water and solutions of given samples Procedure A. By using pH paper Number 1. Take six clean and dry test tubes Label the test tubes as A, B, C, D, E, N, F and place them in order in a test tube stand. Take 10 ml of each given sample in the test tubes. Now, place a small piece of pH paper about 2 cm on white glazed tongue. With the help of a dropper, Transfer 1 to 2 drops of dilute HCl from test tube A on the pH paper. Observe the color developed on pH paper and compare it with the colors in the chart on the cover of the pH paper booklet. Note the pH given against the color which tallies with developed color on pH paper. Now repeat the same procedure for other samples and note their pH in the observation table. Here is the observation table. Let us fill the observation table. Now you know the samples are dilute HCl, dilute solution of NaOH, dilute solution of acetic or ethanoic acid, lemon juice, water, dilute solution of any HCO3. Now, let us see the values of pH using universal indicator. Now, take six clean and dry test tubes. Label the test tubes as A, B, C, D, E, and F and place them in order in a test tube stand. Take 10 ml of each given sample in the test tubes. Add 2 drops of BDH universal indicator with the help of a dropper to each test tube. Now BDH is British Drug House. Observe carefully the color of solution in each test tube and match it with different color shades given on the universal indicator bottle. Note the pH given against the color which tallies with the developed color in the solution of each sample. Now repeat the same procedure for other samples and note their pH in the observation table. Now this is the observation table, same as the audio table. Inference number one, each it samples with pH less than seven. Number two, basic samples with pH more than seven. Neutral samples with pH is equal to seven.
Experiment 2. Study of the properties of acids and bases. E. To study the properties of acids and bases, HCl and NaOH by their reaction with number 1 litmus solution, lower red, zinc metal, and sodium carbonate. Requirements Test tube Test tube stand Cock with the central hole Delivery tube Chemicals Lower red litmus solution or litmus papers Zinc granules Solid sodium carbonate NaOH solution Distilled water Lime water Hydrochloric acid Procedure. Take about 5 ml of HCl in a test tube. Dilute it with about 10 ml of distilled water. Take two test tubes. Take 1 ml of blue litmus solution in the first test tube and 1 ml of red litmus solution in the second test tube. Add about 2 to 3 drops of dilute HCl in each test tube. Or, put 2 to 3 drops of dilute HCl on the strips of blue and red litmus papers. Observe and note down the change in color of the litmus solution or litmus paper. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Note the observations. Observation table. With the columns, serial number, experiment, observations for HCl and for NaOH. A. Change in color of blue litmus solution or paper. In the case of HCl, it changes to red. In the case of NaOH, it remains the same. B. Change in color of red litmus solution or paper. In the case of HCl, it remains the same. In the case of NaOH, it turns blue. Take a few zinc granules in a test tube. Add about 2 ml of HCl in it. Wait for about 5 minutes till the reaction starts. Take a cork with a glass tube, deliver it tube, and fit it to the test tube. A. Note the color of the gas evolved. B. Note the odor of the gas evolved. C. Bring a burning candle near the mouth of the delivery tube. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Note the observations. Reaction with zinc granules. Color and odor of the gas evolved. In the case of HCl, it is colorless and odorless. In the case of NaOH, colorless and odorless. Bringing a burning candle near the mouth of the delivery tube. In the case of HCl, H2 burns with a pop sound. In the case of NaOH, H2 burns with a pop sound. Now take a pinch of solid sodium carbonate in a dry test tube. Add 1 or 2 ml of dilute HCl in it. A vigorous reaction starts. Note the color of the gas evolved. Pass this gas through fresh lime water and observe the changes produced. Now repeat the same procedure for any OH solution. Reaction with sodium carbonate. First, color and odor of the gas evolved. In the case of HCl, gas is colorless and odorless. In the case of NaOH, no reaction. B. Change observed in lime water. In the case of HCl, lime water turns milky. The gas evolved is CO2. In the case of NaOH, nothing happens. Inference Number 1. 
Dilute FCR turns the color of blue litmus solution of paper to red. No change in color of red litmus solution of paper. NaOH solution turns the color of red litmus solution of paper to blue. No change in color of blue litmus solution of paper. Now the second is zinc granules. They react with acid as well as base and liberate hydrogen gas. Number three, solid sodium carbonate reacts with diluted HCl, liberating carbon dioxide gas. Na2CO3 plus 2 HCl gives 2 NaCl plus H2O plus CO2. Now 2 NaCl is white insoluble. When CO2 gas is passed through fresh lime water, that is CaOH toys, white insoluble calcium carbonate is formed due to which lime water turns milky. So H2O plus CO2 plus CaOH toys gives CaCO3 which is insoluble plus 2H2O. If CO2 gas is further passed through the same milky lime water, then it becomes colorless due to the formation of soluble calcium bicarbonate. So CaCO3 plus H2O plus CO2 gives 2CaHCO3. Sodium hydroxide, that is NaOH, does not react with sodium carbonate. 